I want to move on now and talk about the birth of our most fundamental long-term objectives, which uh, was 2008. I was on a paragliding holiday in Bhutan when um, this occurred to me. And just a bit of geography for you. So Bhutan is, is this little country here between India and China in the Himalayas. Uh, and while I was there, I learned a little bit about Bhutan and the culture in Bhutan and the king of Bhutan. So the king of Bhutan basically said, the rest of the world are all chasing growth in GDP. And you know what? That is not as interesting to me as it seems the rest of the world. What is much more interesting to me is GNH, which he coined this, this term which stands for gross national happiness. He said, actually, what is most important to our country is how happy our population are. And that's not necessarily means how much money they're spending, how much money they're earning. And, and when I heard that, I thought, yeah, you know, that really strikes a chord with me. So when I came back to Bhutan, I said, right, right, guys, I've had this idea for the, the fundamental objectives of the, of the business. And it really, I guess, crystallized thoughts that I'd had um, previously to set these three most fundamental objectives in priority order, happy staff, happy customers, happy suppliers. And that these three objectives are the reason that we exist as a business um, and they enshrine our culture, creating a system where people are first and money is second. Now, although money is second, of course, it's critically important to us. So we need to work hard. We need to stretch ourselves. We have to grow because if we don't grow, we're going to shrink. We've got to make a profit. We've got to manage our cash well. We've got to price our products and services competitively. We have to limit our costs. We have to balance long-term and short-term investment. We've got to strive to hit our financial targets and strive to hit our budget. But at Zen, these things are all subservient to the happiness of our staff, customers, and suppliers. And that's really important, isn't it? And, and I think this is the key difference with Zen. Now, most big companies hitting the financial targets is the prime objective and what the other consequences are are less important. And that creates a completely different culture. Often in organizations like that, you'll find that um, it's short-term gain for long-term pain. However, the short-term the short, the short gain is fine. The long-term pain is usually passed to the person that is on the N3 structure. Mediocre customer experience, staff treated as resources, not people. And, and a whole host of, of, of other undesirable long-term effects. <laughs>